Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Vasco. For those of you who've been here before, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, take a look around. If you like what you see, please subscribe. We we'll totally appreciate it. Today we're gonna to be talking about the EOS R5 and the firmware update. I'm not gonna be talking about the features of the firmware update. I'm just gonna do a general tutorial on how to upgrade the firmware because it wasn't too long ago that when you bought a camera, what you bought is what you got. But nowadays you can upgrade as you go, which is pretty cool. And this camera definitely needs some firmware updates. This is uh, right out of the box. This camera has no firmware updates. So I'm looking forward to these updates. Updates. Hopefully those overheating issues go into history. All right, anyway, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so here you are and here I am and these are the five easy steps you need to follow to upgrade the firmware on your EOS R5. So let's get started. Alright, step number one, open up your camera, go into photo mode, put it in P mode. Now open up the menu, go to the wrench icon, page number five, scroll to the bottom, you'll see your firmware version. Now you don't have to do anything yet, but just make a mental note of what firmware you're on right now. So when you do the update and it updates, the numbers will change and you'll know the update has gone through. All right, step number two, we got to download the firmware off of Canon's website. I went to usa.canon.com, link will be down below in the description. Uh, you just go there, you click on support, you click on software and drivers, you click on the camera icon, and then we want EOS and Rebel Digital Cameras. Then we go over here, click on the EOS R system, find the EOS R5, click, and here we go. Now we go to this tab here that says firmware. And you'll see you'll have two options. Here's firmware version 1.1.0 for Windows and Mac. So depending on your operating system, click on the one you want. I've got Windows, so select. Now go here and see where it says, I have read and agreed to the terms of the disclaimer and wish to continue with the download. Click that and download. Here we go. Once your file is finished downloading, you should have a zip file just like this. Similar process on a Mac. Right click on the zip file and hit extract all. Hit extract. And there you go, there you go. What you're looking for is this file here. It's a .fir file, and that's the file we're gonna need in step four. All right, step number three, grab a memory card between 64 and 128 gigabytes in capacity. Why? Because that's what Canon suggests is best, so go ahead and do that. Now, make sure there's nothing on your memory card because you are gonna be formatting it. So when you're ready, pop it in your camera, open up the menu, go to the wrench icon, page one, scroll down to format card, and go ahead and format that card. All right, step number four, pop your freshly formatted memory card into the computer. Here it is on the right. Now find your .fri file and drag and drop it into the memory card folder. Don't put it in any subfolders or anything. Just pop it right on the memory card and that is it. You are done. All right, people of the internet, are you ready? Are you ready for the fifth and final step of updating your firmware? Here we go. Take the memory card with the .fri file out of your computer, pop it into your camera. Make sure your camera is still in P mode. Open the menu, go to the wrench icon, page five, scroll down to where it says firmware, click on it. Now it's gonna ask you if you wanna update the camera firmware or the lens firmware, click on camera. It's gonna ask you current firmware version is, update firmware and you select okay. Now just keep in mind from this point on, the camera touchscreen features are gonna be turned off so you're gonna have to use the scroll wheel and the set button to select things. Click on the set button, wheel over to the okay, hit the set button again and the camera will start the firmware update. Now this is the exciting part. <laughs> Yay, you get to watch your camera for five minutes as it upgrades, but that's okay. It takes five minutes and you get a brand new camera with some new features. And that is that. Super simple, super easy. Go out there and enjoy your new EOS R5 with whatever firmware you're upgrading to. All right, that is it. This tutorial is now over. Thank you for watching. If you find this kind of stuff valuable, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have a lot more videos like this coming up in the future. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your new camera. Peace out, and I will see you guys in the next video.